to Ricky Debbie Lingue Vlogs. Thank you guys for tuning in to another video. If it's your first time, welcome. And thanks for being here. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're going to help you better your Spanish. One quality of a good Spanish teacher would be that they are still teachable. One has to admit that they make mistakes. One has to admit that they don't know everything. With that being said, today is Friday. On this channel, that means that it's Viernes de Vocabulario. So I would like to teach you guys a few words that I have learned this week. Uh, how do I learn new vocabulary? I read. I read articles. I read books. Um, I may hear it out and about. So I have here about, I think, 11 or 12 words that I want to go over with you guys uh, that I learned this week. Make sure to write these down and study them yourselves. The first word that we have is petulante. Petulante just means arrogant or it could be kind of conceited. Is there One thing that you see in Spanish is that words have multiple meanings in English, but it's all the same idea. Arrogant, conceited. So, for example, A mí no me gusta trabajar con ese cantante porque es muy petulante. Next word that we have is jactancioso. I think I found these words in the same article, <laughs> so that's why they're, they're going to be similar. Jactancioso is boastful. It comes from the verb jactarse, which means to praise oneself in a proud way. So, for example, um, No soporto a mi, a mi compañero de trabajo porque es muy jactancioso. The next word that we have is desencadenar. Now, if you know anything about language and you're like me, I like to break words down. So, this one, I can kind of tell what it meant, but I couldn't tell what it meant at the same time. Desencadenar, the root word there is cadena. Cadena is a chain. So, this is like to undo something. So, I looked it up, obviously, and I, it was right with my, with my hypothesis. Is to unchain or to unleash something. It could also be to trigger something. So, los juegos artificiales son descadenantes para los veteranos. You know? For those with like post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. Impugnar. Impugnar is to refute or to challenge. I was reading something about a court document or something in Spanish and that's the word that came about. So, in my example, I will put um, El juez impugnó la, la evidencia por haber oído algo de sobornos. Um, next we have conjunto. Conjunto, I know this word in, in one capacity already, which is like a group, but it can also mean like a combination of an outfit. So, por ejemplo, a mí me gusta ese conjunto que tú tienes de los zapatos y el chaleco. You know, the combination of an outfit. Next we have competencia. Competencia. Now, obviously, I know that the word competencia is like competition. Uh, you know, like if you have un contricante, es tu competencia. Pero, I didn't think of it in the capacity of competence, but it, it is competence as well. Um, por ejemplo, fue la gran competencia de, del arquitecto que construyó este edificio. No sé. <laughs> Otra palabra, another word that we have is fomentar. Fomentar. Fomentar is like to, to foster or to encourage or to develop. And it's actually, I actually use this word in a sentence in the next word. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and skip to the next word. Um, emprendimiento. Emprendimiento is entrepreneurship. I figured as much, but I wasn't certain. So I'm going to say that I learned this word. Even though I use context clues and and my prior knowledge to know what that meant because the word emprendedor is an entrepreneur so emprendimiento would have to be entrepreneurship it could also be um undertaking yeah i'm going to count it as a word that i just learned because i honestly had never seen it before even though i've read a whole bunch of stuff about being un emprendedor i've never seen the word emprendimiento until i had read that article tenemos que fomentar el emprendimiento we have to encourage entrepreneurship next we have decano and this is just um, a dean, a dean in a school. Ese hombre es el decano del departamento de matemáticas en la universidad. Faídos, faídos. It just means failed. Now for me, I know about the, I know about the word fallar, meaning to fail or to miss something. And I have sung in plenty of songs where it said, yo sé que, que te fallé, que te he fallado. Pero, fallido, is also a word that exists. It comes from the same word, fallar, 
En Hollywood, hay muchos matrimonios fallidos. Next, we have tronchar. Tronchar. Tronchar is to cut short or to shatter. Me tronchaste los sueños en el amor. You know? So, there we go. There we have it, guys. Those are the words that I learned this week. Next Friday, we'll have more words that I learned um, that I found in books or articles or whatever. Did you learn any new words? Are these words new to you? Did you already know these words? Let me know. Also, what words did you learn this week? Write them down, write them down in, the, in the comments. We're all a language learning community. So, let's just share what we learned and uh, help other people to learn just like we did. Que Dios me los bendiga, mi gente. Nos vemos.